Hey, welcome back to the vlog. After a long hiatus, we're back. This summer we took some time off and did a personal project called The Good Life Video. If you'd like to know more about that, you can look in the description below. We're posting all those videos on Facebook and talking about Nebraska where we live and the good life in general. But now, we want to get back to the Utterly Awesome Vlog. And this week we're going to talk about the FLIR VS70 Borescope. For now, we want to get back to talking about some subjects, and this week we want to talk about the FLIR VS70 Borescope. And rather than tell you about the features of the camera, we're going to talk about the camera heads themselves in particular. Like for example, this particular head here is a 6 millimeter head with an articulating camera end. There are two-way and four-way articulating camera heads in a 65 millimeter to infinity focus range or a focus range from zero to 65 millimeter, either a close or a long focus. And then we also want to talk about some of the other camera heads that are available, like this particular camera head that's used for going into cylinders and some of these other camera heads like the 28 millimeter that fits onto this for going into, into pipes. So we're gonna try and show you some videos that we've taken with these different camera heads and give you a little bit of an understanding in helping you decide which cameras that you would wanna choose to be able to use or which camera would be the best for your application situation. Okay, so here we are using our camera to look at the exhaust of a motorcycle. We're using a 28 millimeter camera with about 13 LED lights that light up. So we take and we put our camera into the exhaust and we're using a 110 degree field of view that this camera has with a focus distance from about 60 to 600 millimeters and we're getting a image of 3,200 pixels or uh, 640 by 480. Here we're using our VS70, we're doing a digital two time zoom and then we're able to zoom back out. And then we also use this camera and we went into a 12 gallon vacuum cleaner and we can see as we get in past our filter we can see and that light gets pushed all the way down into that whole entire 12 gallon vacuum cleaner and we're able to see quite a bit with this 28 millimeter 110 field of view camera. Then we go back in again with our 25 millimeter camera, a little bit smaller diameter and this camera has a 72 degree field of view. Again, it's 640 by 480, 307,200 pixels, and a focus range of 60 to 600 millimeters. And as you notice, because of our 72 degree field of view, we're able to uh, push that focus a little bit better and able, able to see a little more detail. Here again, we go into our vacuum cleaner with this 25 millimeter, 72 degree field of view camera. And if you notice here, we're able to see even more detail, tell that that wrapper is from Wendy's, be able to see quite a little bit. And then we take a third view with this particular camera in an old engine tank, uh, the fuel tank and be able to see the corrosion within that fuel tank. And if you notice, there's a dip off there. I show here that there are two different levels in this tank and getting it at the right angle so that we're able to see beyond into this tank and be able to see past that second level. There you can see we can see the fuel down into that second level. 
And then here we use a third camera, our 8mm camera. Here you show, I show my demo camera. It's a short distance, but this camera comes in a 2 and a 1 meter length, so 3 foot and 6 foot. This camera is used for a little bit more finer detail. Um, again, when we push into this camera, we can see that we can't push as much light with this camera, but we can actually see a lot more detail of our corrosion because this uses a 65 millimeter to infinity focus and a 56 degree field of view. We take this camera then as well and we go into our vacuum and again we show that there is our long distance we can't see the detail there and here we're down into our vacuum we can't see and push as much light to be able to see in that larger cavity. And then here again we go into our fuel tank again and we show that we can't push as much light, but we can actually see more detail within our corrosion and see how severe it is. Hey, so thanks for joining us. We hope that gave you a real good view about how our 28 millimeter and our 25 millimeter and our 8 millimeter lenses work. Next week we're going to cover, we're going to go into our 28 millimeter and some of our differences between our long focus length and our narrow focus length lenses. Thanks for joining us. Till next time, be utterly awesome and have a great day.